Okay, students, I'm going to show you how to get your correlation coefficient from your data table that you've created in Excel. Your data table should look like this, subjects 1 through 20. You can have more than 20, but you need to have at least 20. Variable 1, I want you to actually label this. So let's say this variable is happiness. It should say happiness. Let's say it's on a scale from 1 to 10. Here's everybody's happiness scale. Variable 2, let's say it's how many pairs of shoes they own. Here's how many pairs of shoes they own. So the very first thing you need to make sure is that your data table is in this format. Then to get your correlation coefficient, you need to pick any empty cell on your Excel, hit the equal sign, type in C-O-R-R-E-L, open parenthesis. Then you're wanting to left click on your first piece of data in variable 1 and drag down to your last piece of data in variable 1. So when you're done, it should have this pretty little square around it and you should see that this should represent B2 through B21. You then hit comma. When you do that, it should make this become solid and you know you're doing it correctly. You're going to do the same thing for your second variable. Click on the first piece of data, pull down to your last piece of data. Then you're going to close up your parentheses, which should again make the square a single color. So when you are ready to get your correlation coefficient out, as long as your data is looking like this, you have it correct. Make sure you have that closed parentheses in. Hit enter and you will automatically get this correlation coefficient. This is the number that is going to tell you the strength of your correlation as well as the direction of your correlation. So for this one, you can see my correlation is 0 0.00175, which is a very, very weak correlation, which is what we would expect to find between happiness and amount of shoes owned.